Well, hello world. It's North Dakota Transplant. You know, it's been a while since anybody's gotten to see what Williston looks like. And I got to make a quick trip down to the bank here this afternoon, so I thought I'd just give you a tour on the way back to work. Um, everything is still a little calmer here. Um, that will be changing very soon, though. Um, the hotel is starting to fill up at night. Uh, they're starting to get booked up. The permafrost is going to be melting, which will open up a whole lot of stuff that has not been possible while everything's frozen solid. The construction is going to go crazy again. Uh, not only the road construction, but the apartments, the hotels, all of the things that they haven't been able to do while it's been so darn cold here. Uh, but we're in downtown Williston right now. We're going to be headed uh, straight up 2nd Avenue West, which uh, is actually Highway 2. Um, and yes, Highway 2 runs north and south for 13 miles uh, from the north side of town uh, into town. And then it cuts back to the west again from there. But um, just a couple of things. Uh, hotel rooms are still kind of reasonable. You can find stuff in the 150 range here in Williston right now. That's going to change, as I said, once everything starts filling up. When I got here last August, 230 bucks was the cheapest room, and that was if you could even find such a thing. Um, the snow is melted got the street cleaners out trying to get the sand and salt and crud off of the streets so we are headed towards spring up here in North Dakota it's just not quite here yet although we are 37 degrees today and that's warm enough to drive around with your window down when you live in North Dakota feels like summertime um, one quick point about North Dakota that I just heard this morning did you know that North Dakota is the least visited state in America. You know, I found that a little bit shocking because I'm telling you what, there's some of the most beautiful scenery up here that I've ever witnessed. I just can't imagine um, that it's the least visited place in our country. Um, don't know, I'm sure that the oil boom up here in this part of North Dakota would prevent much tourism just based on the fact that you can't get a hotel room in the in the busy season for tourism uh, and if you can it's ungodly expensive so if you're gonna spend 230 bucks on a hotel you probably want to do that someplace besides Williston North Dakota anyway um, little section of residential here runs for about six blocks from 11th Street um, down to around Broadway or I guess it's somewhere around 4th or 3rd Street um, mostly just housing here then once we get up here to 11th Street um, if you take a left here at 11th Street it takes you back out to Highway 85 and Highway 2 um, if you take a right on 11th Street it dead ends at University um, but most of the retail stuff that goes on here in Williston will be in this next section that we're about to go through up here it starts at 11th street and runs up to 26th um, and we'll just give you a little shot of um, the main drag here in williston north dakota we got the m h gas station and quick shop over here to our left and we have one of my favorite places to eat parties um, by golly they've got the best looking commercials that i've seen in a long time i've keep looking for that girl here but she's not been here yet um, as we go on down the road here you can see we've got an Arby's we've got uh, Econo Mart which is a fairly good sized grocery store um, you can see Sherwin Williams paint store we've got a Taco John's up here on the left as well uh, no Taco Bell here I'm kind of surprised I would think that uh, they would have a Taco Bell here in Williston. Sorry about that loud. There's all kinds of loud trucks up here. You just kind of get used to it, talk over it. Uh, but yep, there's Taco John's. Um, if you see that big white sign up ahead that says Simonson, um, that's a 
gas station here in North Dakota. Um, there's one in Fargo. There's one in Bismarck, Minot, Williston, Dickinson. Um, they've been around since 1933. Uh, they've got great car washes. Um, their gas is the same price as most anyone else, but it's one of my favorite places to stop. Uh, there's a lot of gas stations up here that I'd never heard of before. Tesoro is a great big gas station affiliate up here that I've never seen until I got to North Dakota. Anyway, we've got barber shops and hair and nail salons. There's a Verizon Wireless here. Um, the Shopper newspaper is done right here at this building on our right. We've got a pretty good size Ashley Furniture Store. There's one of those Tesoro stations that I just mentioned. It's called Super Pumper. The El Rancho Hotel, that place is constantly full. I've never uh, been able to get a vacancy when I've called to check on that one. There's an old standard gas station Sinclair Dinosaur. I remember that place when I was young. We got Pizza Hut and Wing Street here. Uh, Dakota Farms is a local restaurant. They're only open from 6 till 2. No dinner at that restaurant. We got our Subway. Home of Economy is a North Dakota place here. They sell all the Carhartt clothing. Um, man, that stuff's expensive, but it does keep these guys warm that have to work outside in the bitter cold up here. Um, and then just uh, we've got an Aaron's Rental Purchase that opened not too long ago here. Um, and some other businesses, as you can see. Here is our one McDonald's. Um, not nearly as crowded as it was when I got here last August. I'm sure that's all in the future works as well. Um, using my phone again, this worked out so well the last time I thought I'd try it again since I was making this little trip to the bank and back, but uh, we're turning right here on 26th Street. Well, 26th Street to the right, Dakota Parkway to the left, and Dakota Parkway again is Highway 2 and 85 once you make the turn there. Um, you've got your Applebee's, which is the only nationwide brand restaurant in Williston uh, other than the fast food places. We've got a True Value Hardware over here to the right and an Albertsons grocery store and pharmacy there on the right as well. A lot of businesses sit way back off the road here. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Mainstay Suites. That's my home away from home this trip. Pretty nice brand new hotel. But anyway, I'm going to let everybody go. I hope you're having a great week and look for another update here within the next 10 to 14 days tops. Hope everyone's having a great week and we'll see y'all later.